Poor Mercury. When Pluto got kicked out of the planet club, Mercury became the smallest planet in the solar system. Jupiter and Saturn even have moons bigger than Mercury. But don't confuse size with status. Just because it's small, it's about 3,000 miles across, about half the size of the Earth. Mercury is still a really cool place. Well, duh, it's actually a really hot place. It's about 36 million miles from the sun, and being so close makes it very hot. The surface temperature is about 800 degrees, hot enough to melt tin, lead, and zinc. But because it's so close to the sun, it's also really hard to observe. It's only visible for about two hours during the twilight, after the sun sets or before the sun rises. And that means even the best ground-based views are a little bit fuzzy. Now, as remarkable as some of these ground-based views are, there's really just nothing like being there. So when the space age dawned, Mercury became an obvious target. It was first visited by the spacecraft Mariner 10 back in 1974 and 75. Mariner didn't orbit the planet. It actually swung by Mercury three times, snapping pictures each time. It took nearly 3,000 images and revealed surface features never before seen. But there was a problem. Because of the way NASA had to send the probe, it always passed by the planet when Mercury was in the same phase, when the same part of it was lit by the sun. And so we were limited in our view. We just weren't able to see the whole planet. But that's about to change. Enter MESSENGER, the Mercury Surface, Space Environment, Geochemistry, and Ranging mission. Launched by NASA in 2004, it recently visited the innermost planet. MESSENGER made its first pass of Mercury in January 2008, and even though it whipped past the planet at several miles per second, it took some incredible pictures. In just that one rendezvous, it already revolutionized what we know about the planet. Mercury is a battered and beaten world. It doesn't have an atmosphere, so even small asteroids that impact the surface leave a crater. It doesn't have plate tectonics or any other kind of surface erosion like the Earth does. So Mercury still bears the scars from every impact that ever hit it. This means its surface is saturated with craters. Literally, any new impact is likely to erase more craters than it makes. In this image, we can see what that means. Wall-to-wall -wall craters, everywhere you look. In fact, it makes Mercury look a lot like our own moon. A long time ago, something really, really big hit Mercury. The impact punched through Mercury's crust and the crater filled with molten rock, leaving behind an enormous flat region called Caloris Basin. The impact must have been extraordinarily violent to leave a scar nearly a thousand miles across. If something like that were to hit the Earth today, it would wipe out all life everywhere. Happily, there are no more potential impactors like that out there. The surface of Mercury is a little weird. Once the planet cooled after formation, the crust shrank like a dried out orange, leaving cracks all over the surface. You can see some of these in this close up of the floor of Caloris Basin. The crater in the middle was formed from an impact well after Caloris Basin formed, and the weird shape of the crater is probably due to the cracks in the surface. Not surprisingly, astronomers call features like these spiders. On its way out from Mercury, MESSENGER took this image of a crater-saturated region. Surprisingly, two of the craters have black eyes. They're surrounded by dark halos. Astronomers aren't sure what this means. Maybe Mercury's surface is layered with dark material below the surface that got splashed out when these impact craters were formed. Or it's also possible that it's just material that got melted during the impact and solidified into darker material. We won't know until MESSENGER settles into orbit around Mercury and is able to study the surface in earnest. But that won't be until March of 2011. Until then, we'll just have to be satisfied with the observations MESSENGER makes as it swings by, a small taste of a small planet. But I'm sure that'll be enough to keep scientists happy and guessing for years to come.